Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a really cool tech tip and how you can take your MacBook Pro and mirror it to your Samsung TV using what's called AirPlay. Now on every uh, MacBook or any kind of newer device, whether it be an iPad or a iPhone or your newer uh, MacBook Pros have AirPlay built into them. So therefore you can take and use your AirPlay settings to mirror whatever's going on here on your phone or your iPad to another screen. And so today we're gonna show you how you can do it on Samsung. Now, Samsung back in the day did not have this type of feature. You had to buy what was called an Apple TV device, a whole nother extra component in order to get that casting or that mirroring effect onto a TV. But now Samsung is playing well with Apple and they're making it so that they're building that feature into the, all their newer TVs. So that way you don't have to buy anything extra and you can just mirror wirelessly with no wires, which is a great thing. I'm a big fan of uh, eliminating and going with that minimal look and having no wires. So we're going to show you how to do that. Now, what I have here is a newer MacBook Pro. I do have a skin on it. That's why it looks a little different. Um, but this is a 2017 model, I believe, uh, the touch bar. And I'm going to show you guys how to mirror this using this. So let's go through a step-by-step -step process and I'll give you, um, well, I'll let you guys see it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your remote here. This is a Samsung remote and we're going to hit the home button. Oops, don't hit it twice like I just did. Hit the home button and then you're gonna go all the way to the bottom, go all the way to the left to where that settings icon is right there. Click on settings. Now here's a real important step. Let me go back here. When you're going to settings, do not go to settings and then hit up. You, that's not what you want to do. You want to go to settings and hit enter on settings. So I think that confuses a lot of people. It confused me when I first set this up because you know, you would imagine you go to settings and then hit up, but no settings and then click enter. Now, when you do that, it brings up this new menu here. You're going to want to go down to general right there and then click over and then go to Apple AirPlay settings. And that's where your menu is. You'll go ahead and click enter there. And then on here it says AirPlay on. So you wanna make sure that toggle is flipped onto on as you can see right there, it's on on. And then on require code, it's on first time only. So you make sure you leave it on that. That way you're not having to punch in a code every time that you're wanting to do this. And it'll save your settings once you do log into it that very first time. All right, so we're good there. All right, and so now we'll jump over to our MacBook. Okay, so now we're here on the MacBook Pro and up here at the very top, you'll see what's like, looks like a little TV icon with a triangle. You wanna click on that and as you can see, it says AirPlay 2 and it's already recognizing my Samsung Q80 TV. It's got a, and then it has another one here because I have a second Samsung TV downstairs and it's, it's Recognizing that, it says Samsung 6 Series. But I'm gonna to wanna to cue it to the Q80. All you do is find that TV, click on it, and then the screen goes black for a second. And as you can see, I'll show you guys, it's on the TV mirroring. Okay, so right there it is on TV, and then bam, now it's on my TV. So that, I got a different picture on here. This is like my second screen uh, background. Okay, so once you got that all set up, as you can see, I've got two screens on here and my cursor, it's probably hard to tell right there, but my cursor is um, moving on my screen. And then if I take it all the way to the right off of my laptop, bam, you see it. No, no it's kind of hard to see, but it's right, right around here is uh, my arrow. See it moving. Okay, so yeah, this doubles my screen real estate. It gives me a second monitor to use for my laptop. So uh, I could sit on my recliner, work on one screen, and then also work off a second one here, maybe if I'm editing, and they have this huge 65-inch screen as a second display. 
So yeah, this is a really cool feature that is free on your Mac and your Samsung TV. No extra components needed. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of word of advice. This only works on your newer Samsung TVs, okay? So I've been getting a lot of people that have been asking me, you know, or saying that, hey, it doesn't work on my Samsung TV, I can't find settings. Well, your TV might be a little bit too old to do this. I believe that Samsung started doing this in 2018. So look to see if your Samsung TV has this in the settings. If it doesn't, it may be a little bit too old to do this, but super simple, easy way to get bigger screen real estate and to mirror your MacBook to your Samsung TV. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back on the next one. So until then, be creative.